let f of x equal four divided by x, or four over x, we want to calculate f prime of two, or determine the derivative function value at x equals two, using the limit definition of the derivative, which is given here, where f prime of two will give the slope of the tangent line at x equals two, which we'll verify graphically once we finish. So to find f prime of two using the limit definition, we'll substitute two for x here, here, and here. Which means f prime of two is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of our difference quotient, which would be f of the quantity two plus h minus f of two divided by h. And now we'll determine our function values in the numerator. So we have the limit as h approaches zero of f of the quantity two plus h would be four divided by the quantity two plus h. And then we have minus f of two. f of two would be four divided by two, or just two. And here we just have h. And now we'll find this difference in the numerator. So we'll write two over one and obtain a common denominator. So we have the limit as h approaches zero of, again, we'll leave this first fraction as four over the quantity two plus h, and we'll write minus two as two over one. This is all over h. Notice here the common denominator would be the quantity two plus h. So we'll multiply two over one by two plus h over two plus h. So this gives us the limit as h approaches zero of, notice here we have a common denominator of the quantity two plus h, and the numerator here is going to be four, and then because of the subtraction, we'll distribute negative two, so negative two times two is negative four minus four, negative two times h is negative two h, or minus two h. Our denominator here is still h, but notice how the fraction in the numerator does simplify, since four minus four is equal to zero. So notice how the fraction in the numerator is now just negative two h over the quantity two plus h. Let's continue on the next slide. Now we want to simplify this complex fraction. Remember, a fraction bar means division, so we can write this as the limit as h approaches zero of the fraction in the numerator would be negative two h divided by the quantity two plus h. And then instead of dividing by h, we can multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of h would be one over h. So dividing by h is equivalent to multiplying by one over h. And now before we find this product, we can simplify. h divided by h simplifies to one which gives us the limit as h approaches zero of, here we just have negative two divided by the quantity two plus h. And now we can determine our limit. Notice as h approaches zero, this approaches negative two over positive two, which equals negative one. So f prime of two is equal to negative one which again does give us a slope of the tangent line to our function at x equals two. Let's verify this graphically. In blue we have the graph of our function, f of x equals four divided by x. When x equals two, the point on the function is this point here, two comma two. So notice how this red line is the tangent line at that point. So if we select a second point on our tangent line, we can determine the slope of our tangent line. So for example, if we select this point here, notice how to move from the point on the left to the point on the right, we'd have to go down one unit and right one unit. Verifying the slope of our tangent line is negative one divided by one, or just negative one. I hope you found this helpful.